to change MeshMachine's preferences, bring up Blender's preferences first, by pressing Ctrl, Alt, U. Make sure you are in the Add-ons tab, and search for Mesh, at the top left of the window. Locate Mesh Machine and unfold it. The first thing you may want to do, is change your keyboard layout. Depending on what you choose, the Mesh Machine menu will be mapped to either X, or Y. If you change this, you need to save your settings and restart Blender. If you want to disable a keymap, use the checkbox at the beginning, don't remove it completely via the cross at the end. You can also define your own keys or key combinations. If you don't want the Mesh Machine menu to appear in the Specials menu, turn it off here. This also requires a Blender restart. Depending on the keyboard layout you chose, an existing Blender keymap will have been replaced. Either Delete or Mesh Split. To still be able to access these, you can put them in the Mesh Machine menu. To access them very quickly, you can then just press XX for Delete, or YY for Mesh Split. If you are looking for quick access to Mesh Machine's documentation, you can put that in the menu as well. In the Behavior section, you can choose if you want to work with a modal UI, or not. The modal UI displays tool options directly in the viewport, and provides quick access to them, via shortcuts, while a tool is active. A modal is finished, by pressing the space bar, or the left mouse button. It can be cancelled with the escape key, or the right mouse button. If you toggle it tool to simple, its options only appear in the redo panel at the bottom of the T panel. There is no need to confirm it tool, and instead of cancelling, you just undo. The redo panel can conveniently be brought up as a pop-up via the not-so-convenient F6 key. I suggest remapping this, ideally to the mouse, if you have spare buttons available. Not all tools are listed here. Some tools don't have a modal, like the plug tool, while others work as a modal only, like the normal transfer tool. Finally, you can change the size of the modal UI. The HUD is also affected by Blender's general UI scaling. Both of these together should give you all the control you need. By default, the modal HUD displays hints for keyboard shortcuts. Once you are more familiar with the tools, you may want to turn this off. For plug-related settings, check out the plug settings video. But check out the plug's introduction and plug libraries videos first. 